Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Gilmar Moreira. Só leva chifre quem não faz amor direito. Só leva chifre quem não faz amor direito. Mais um. Como ficar rico se faz My nickname, my nickname is Chicano. Gilmar Moreira. Where are you from? Brazil. I bring my wife and my son and I try living there. My son has a 26 days born in here. I want to be a, a good inspiration for him, but the future, only God knows. Wake up and train again, and you train again, and you train again. And his opponent fighting at the blue corner. 65 kilograms Bradley this fight's taking place. And a little China. bit lighter than that previous fight. 65 yeah. kilograms. We'll see how these guys move. Professional moves. MMA record of seven victories opposite of three defeats. An Please MMA give it up for Yordana from China. A, a seven and three MMA fighter from China who was thrown in just for this event. So we have a Brazilian Muay Thai fighter and a Chinese MMA fighter fighting in bare knuckle boxing. Chinese MMA versus Brazilian Muay Thai. Do you want to pick who you think is going to win this fight, Campbell? Unfortunately, I do not know the MMA fighter's style. And although the Chinese are known to be super tough, I'm gonna back the Brazilian for this one. I would agree, I would definitely back this Brazilian as well. The Muay Thai scene in Brazil, the Muay Thai fighters coming out of Brazil are very skilled. And I don't know how much boxing experience this Chinese fighter has, but if he's a, primarily an MMA fighter, at least he'll be used to defending himself with small gloves, so maybe that'll make the fight a little bit more even. Maybe he uses the clinch to his advantage as well, utilize some dirty boxing. And it's been a big thing tonight, dirty boxing right, DJ. Man, the fighters that have utilized the clinch have made the fights look very easy. Like his fifth fight of the night, guys. Fifth of... Eight. Go to your head, not of it. Not back, head. The referee is giving them the oh, final come. instructions. Like I said, guys, steady incline tonight of level. Let's see. Let's see if this is better than last. I'm excited to see if we get a higher pace than the other fights, being that these guys are a lighter weight class. Like we said last fight, we had our first finish. Let's see if we get another finish in this one. Both fighters being very patient, fainting. The Chinese with the stance switch, switching the softball right in front of his opponent. You notice some people try to hide their stance switch. The Chinese fighter did not try to hide it at all. And oh, now are they swinging? They are landing big shots, both fighters. Oh, the Brazilian is dropping his head and throwing for the wind. The, the Chinese is on him. Yeah, the Brazilian landed the first few shots, but then the Chinese man backed him off. Yodana is moving very well. He has very good footwork. Gilmar is looking very hesitant now. I think he got hit harder than we thought. Yordana with a nice straight right. He backs off, lands a left hook, three more punches. Oh, he's hitting him and getting out of the way. 
That's a beautiful, beautiful boxing. Hitting and not getting hit. What a right hand. He does it. He slips out again right away. I'm going to call it. I do not see this fight going three rounds. Oh, he's hitting him, and he's, he's backing. He's sliding back just enough to make Gilmar miss, and he hits him again every time. He's being first and third on everything. If I... I'd definitely keep the pressure on Doe if I was the Chinese here. He's giving his opponent a little bit of time to recover. Yeah. He, he seems very loose in there. He's moving well. Seems comfortable. He lands that right hand every time he throws it. And that was a beautiful round. Started slow, but they picked up the fate. They picked up the pace in a hurry. Looks like first part of the night we predict someone and it. It looks like we were wrong, DJ. It does look like we were wrong, Gil Mahar. I, I hope you can prove us right, but your Donna has some nice hands. I'm going to give the first round to the Chinese. I'm definitely going to give the first round to your Donna as well. I hope I'm saying his name right. But he, he is smooth in there. Moves well. I was a little nervous when he switched stance in front of his opponent, but then he landed three punches immediately. It's hard to tell when, when they have an MMA background. It could, they could be a wrestler, they could be a Muay Thai fighter, they could be a boxer. This guy looks like he trained with the Shaolin monks because that right hand has some heat on it. Here we go, guys. The minute break is up. We are going into our second round. Fighter is bouncing again. Okay. Gil Mar is marching forward a little bit more, trying to put some pressure on. Definitely a higher pace from our lot of fighters tonight. It looks it looks like Yordana's trying to bait Gil Mar to punch him. He's leaving that left hand down very low. Oh, there's a straight left by Gil Mar. He's leaving his hands down, trying to bait Gilmar to, to swing at him so he can counter. But in bare knuckle boxing, that may not be the smartest tactic. But it's working good well for him right now. He does have some bruising starting over that left eye. Gilmar is just putting his head down and swinging when he gets in close. Donna looks like the much more comfortable fighter in there for this round as well, but Gilmar's landing more, it seems. Yeah, sometimes with these very short two-minute rounds, you can't, you can't wait or you're going to lose the round. He's trying to find the range, but yeah, he's waiting a little too long. Whoa! Gilmar lands the right hand that puts him down. It looked like he was trying to bait him into throwing the right hand. Gilmar throws it and it lands. Very big right hand for the Brazilian. Very big right hand. He needed to win this round to come back, I believe, and he's winning this round now. Now he has some more confidence. Oh, he lands the left hook. He lands another right hand. Now the Brazilian has some confidence and he's swinging more. Yodana's still walking forward. Still coming forward, but... Oh, what a finish by Gilmar. It looked like the round was going to be even again, and then he lands that massive right hand to guarantee him the round. So it looks like we could be one and one going into the third round, guys. Definitely looks, definitely looks like that. Probably our closest fight of the night, I would say. Definitely. They both landed big shots. The first round, Gilmar looked so clean with everything he did. It looked like he was trying to counter Gilmar by, by baiting Gilmar to throw, but he didn't slide back far enough and ended up eating that right hand that sent him down to the canvas. Gilmar is definitely going to come out confident in this third round, looking for the finish. Whoever wins this round is going to win this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Now we get to see which fighter wants it more. Will it be Yodana from China or Gilmar from Brazil? Here we go, third and final round. Oh. 
And rounds on. Still very fresh. They're both moving very well. Neither one of them look to be fading. You notice Giordano that a lot with a lot of fighters. Southpaw. Switch to Southpaw now, moving to his right, throwing the jab. Sometimes you find though when when fighters switch to Southpaw, their defense drops a little bit. So I'd like to see uh, Gilmore throw a big right hand here. Yeah, see if he can get out of the way of it. But when he ate the right hand, I'm pretty sure he was in orthodox stand. So I think his corner made him switch to try to change the game. And oh. hook that puts him down. No, the ref calls it a slip. The guys are still fighting. See if Gilmar can land a punch again. Good body shot by Yordana. A uh, big swing in the miss by Gilmar. But like you said, Campbell, Gilmar is throwing that right hand and see if Yordana can defend from the southpaw stance. He needs to keep keep throwing it. You notice Yordana is very good at getting his foot outside of Gilmar's foot. Watch the right foot of Yordana. He gets it just outside of Gilmar's foot every time he steps in. And as soon as he did it, he fired that straight left and turned Gilmar around. Both men fighting for that outside foot position here. Yeah. Anybody's fight right now. Yordana just peppering him from the outside, staying out. Gilmar needs to close the distance and land the big shot. He seems like he has the power advantage, but he has to get on the inside to throw it. Good jab. And that is the and end of the is third the round. End of the third round. Who do you think won that fight, Campbell? Cool. Definitely our toughest one to judge tonight. Yeah, so I would not want to be a judge for this fight. I'm going to give it, I picked him at the start. I'm going to say Gilmar. I know it was a slip, the, uh, the ref called it a slip in the third round, but it was definitely a clean punch that got him as well. Yeah, he landed the left hook. It turned him around, made him touch the, made him touch the ground. Who have definitely you got, DJ, like for this one? I'm gonna pick Gilmar as well. He, he he had the one drop of the fight, landed the biggest shot. Yordana looked very well, but he didn't land anything of real substance. Yes. He, he landed really clean shots, but when you take into account power, Gilmar clearly had the power advantage. Brazil versus China, let's see who takes this one home. The blue corner! Gilmar with the victory. So Campbell's time was right. The king maker Campbell's time. Because the winner is over here. Yes, we haven't been wrong once yet tonight. Gilmar! Very good judging, my say tonight. Very good judging. Oh. I really need to fight. This guy is not kidding here, yes? Man, hard fight, but uh, when I start my, my camp, I, decided, I said, please give me a fair fight, a good fight. Yes, today, I give my, this guy give me a good fight. Yes, he's a good fighter. I'm very happy. It's okay, I'm a win, but I think still, all the people watching the show, there's re really winners, yes? Thank you. What a great fight. I really like the footwork of the Chinese fighters. He needs to work on his defense and bare knuckles. Small gloves, very, no gloves, it's very unforgiving. I don't know, it's my first fight in bare knuckles. That guy. I, I have uh, many You'll players. Notice that with Ben Uckle as well. Not a lot of guys have a lot of experience yet. Very new sport. Very new sport. It's different. You may, maybe uh, have a be more careful or attack. But I don't know. Just to start now. Now I think so. 
I'm gonna rest and see my body. It is all good and okay. Later, I, I, I think I want to see you about this. But it's very exciting, very, very, very exciting. I am very, very, very happy for today. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure watching you. Thank you, Morella. How are you, boy? I'm from Wah. การชกสากลมันปากก็เป็นครั้งแรกของเขานะครับไม่ได้ง่ายเลยนะครับเพราะว่าต้องระวังมากขึ้นครับพลาดทีเดียวก็น็อกได้ตอนนี้เขาก็ขอกลับไปพักก่อนนะครับก่อนที่เขาจะมาวางแผนว่าเขาจะเอายังไงต่อในโลกสากลมันเปล่านะครับแต่ว่าเขาต้องยอมรับว่าสนุกมากครับขอขอบคุณแฟนๆครับ I'm really impressed by how even the match these fights are Hey, it wasn't the decision you wanted Yes, very evenly matches One round Very high level as well Very good fight Very good fight I can't see but I stay here I, I come here for fight. I don't care anything. I don't care. Even this ice is working. I will stay here. Oh, I'm he a fucking fighter. He got his eye closed in the second round. Uh, and fall to the third this round guy is with a one eye. Guy. And uh, his uh, father, his so that fight one for right him. Family. Really changed the fight. And uh, congratulations, one brother. Punch. Hey, brother, congratulations. Good man. Oh. And I first come uh, Thailand. This is my first uh, fight here. I'm happy. I love here. I love uh, Phuket. I love <laughs> yeah. And I will come here. I promise I will come here again. Yeah. Remember me. Yeah, done now.